Hello students, welcome to your, our English online class. Those who are online can write your name for the attendance. Please type your names for the attendance. And she is on that day, or she will be there, and the other So I hope, students, we may start today's lesson, right? So today we have a wonderful poem for our learning and discussion. It's a beautiful poem with such a vast meaning. The name of the poem is, Try, Try. Again, you can say the name of the poem is Try Try Again. And this poem is written by Thomas Palmer, a great poet. He himself was an educator and an athlete, and he has faced a lot of obstacles in his own life. Also. So, based on his experience, he has written this wonderful motivational poem for the kids. So let's see how and what kind of how he has written this and what kind of message do he want to convey to us through this poem. Right? I hope you all have the Oxford textbook at home. Those who don't have, don't worry. I will recite one paragraph, or not paragraph, one stanza for you. So you can repeat each line after I have recited. Okay? So wherever you are, whether you are at home or whether you are with your parents, wherever you are, after each line what I say, or what I recite, you repeat the lines. Okay? Children, are you ready? Okay. You will see here, T is a lesson you should hear. T is a lesson you should hear. Here, the T, it's a poetical way of writing. This T stands for this a lesson. T is a lesson you should hear what is written is this T stands for this A lesson. Okay. So I hope you understood. So now let's start. This A lesson you should hear. Pretty students. Try, try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Then your courage should appear. For if you will persevere, you will ponder, never fear. Try, try again. I hope you have repeated after me wherever you were sitting at the bomb. And now I will recite it on my own. You can just listen. Okay. This lesson you should hear. Try, try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Then your courage should appear. For if you will persevere, you will ponder, never fear. Try, try again. So this is the beautiful first stanza of this poem, which is very, very meaningful. Children, 
Here, heed means pay careful attention. Children, the poet is telling us to pay careful attention to what he is speaking to us in this poem. He says, this is a lesson which you have to pay careful attention. This is a lesson you should heed. Matlab, this is the lesson which you should pay very careful attention to in your life. What is that? Then he says, the lesson is try, try again. What is the lesson here? The lesson, what the poet says, us to put our full careful attention to is try, try again. So, why we should try? He says, a lot of reasons. If at first you don't succeed, when should we try? At what kind of situations we should try? Many a time, we attend competitions. Right? And in every competition, as you know that, one first, one first prize, win, prize winner will be there and there will be a second prize winner and there will be a third prize winner. What about the other participants? Many a time, they are called, they are called a, or they are graded fail. But are they fail? Are they in the failed category? Never. Why? Because they have attended or attempted in the population. Participating itself is winning and it's a way to improve yourself. You are trying to improve yourself by participating in the competition and you are showing the guts and confidence to stand in front of others or to participate in a competition itself is a winning. So it's not a failure. So what he says is if at first you don't succeed, try it right. Again, this is the first situation in your life where you should apply this lesson, try, try again. Where in your life, in many situations, in many attempts, maybe in young age or maybe in later on, you will try for something and you may experience failure at the beginning. But don't stop. Failure is the stepping stone to success. Take it as a stepping stone. You are standing on the first step. Next failure. Okay, doesn't matter. But I have tried the second time. Next time. Then, okay, third time you fail. Don't worry. Yes, you have tried third time. So one more step ahead. So slowly by slowly, each time when you try, you will go forward. You will not go backward when you are trying. If you are not trying, if you are not attempting, if you are not participating, then you will move backward in your progress. Each time you try and fail, be confident and be happy and say, yes, I participated, yes, I tried. So I am moving forward. I am developing my confidence, I am developing my skill. The result doesn't matter for me. In my life, I have tried, I have been done. Okay. So this is what he says. Even first you don't succeed, many a time, when children participate in the competition, you might have experienced the kids. When the result comes, some children cry, some children are very sad, some cannot accept the result. They say that this result is manipulated. Huh? Uh, it is me who has to get the prize. Why the prize is given to that child? Sometimes it happens to us, or sometimes we keep this posted in our heart and we feel very sad, right? But here, the poet says, no need to do all these things. If at first you don't succeed, what will happen? Will the world end? Or will your skills end? No. Your skills will remain with you. The world is not going to end. So what is the problem? Try me again. Don't stop there. Try and try again until you succeed. Until you succeed one day, you should not stop trying. This is what the point is telling you. Now let's see, what is the fifth line? Again, the poet says great things to us, children. See, then your courage should appear, for if you will persevere. What is the meaning of persevere? You see, persevere means continue trying to do something. Continue trying to do something. That is called a persevere. 
So here he is telling that it is very easy to say right by again, but it needs real guts. It really needs real courage to try again. First year failed. People will say, why you should try again next time? But you should have the courage. Yes, I failed, but I will go and compete again. Or I will participate again. I will try again. Next year again. Then your friends will start laughing at you. So you need the guts and courage to stand in front of them. Third time you competed, again failed. So the whole people will start laughing at you. No, not giving up. Trying and trying again. To stand up and do that again and again. You need real courage, children. You need real courage. That's why the poet says, then your courage should appear. For if you will persevere, if you continue trying to do something, children, with your full courage, ignoring all the love of others, ignoring the love of your friends, ignoring the love of your neighbors and relatives and even the pressure of your family, if you try and try and try, last you will win. To face these humiliations and love of others, you need real courage to stand against it and to do continuously the same thing till you win. So the poet says that if you don't succeed at the first attempt, don't worry, you will be a hero one day. Try again. And then your courage should appear. I will not give up. Let them laugh. I will not give up. I will try. So the heroic nature of it should come. And not only that, you should persevere. Means keep on trying to do it. See all the possible way of improving. And put more effort, hard work, and try keep on doing that. Then what will be the result? You see the eighth leg. You will conquer, never fear. The poet says that from his life and experience, you will win. Never fear. Never think that, are ya, fourth time I fail, I will give up. I will end this. All are laughing at me. I will put a full stop for this and I am going to. Never ever I will try this again. Don't think like that. He says that you will conquer. One day you will conquer, no doubt. Don't fear. Why should you fear? Be bold, be courageous. And then what you should do? Try, try. Okay. So, if you don't win at your first effort, the first attempt, don't stop. Try, try again. When people laugh at you when you are trying again and again, your courage should appear to face these humiliations. Face the comment of others and not only facing that, you should persevere. You should keep on trying to do it again and again. If you can, get some training from others. Take some tips from your teachers or parents or from your music teacher or from others. And again keep on trying. And the poet says, if you do this, if you persevere, if you have courage to try again and again, Last, one day you will win, no doubt. You will win one day, no doubt at all. So keep trying to do the same thing in which you have failed. That is the meaning of the poem, try, try again. And the poet says, this line, try, try it again, is the most important lesson which you should always pay attention in your life whenever you experience any failure. Students, I have made a beautiful video of this particular poem with beautiful video clippings of the people, those who have experienced failures. 
in this world and they are all international figures now they are all international winners now for example you may know leander page and michael schumacher there are a lot of michael phillips there are a lot of sports personalities and other people those who are internationally known but once or twice they also have experienced failures in their life but they never gave up they never gave up and they didn't stop their career there they again tried and tried and again they became famous and they became the winners again so i have made a beautiful video of this poem try try again with the video clips of international figures and i will share share the youtube link in the class group today itself you all watch this poem in in the particular link so that it will be very meaningful for you to understand the poem again in a better way it has wonderful and beautiful video clips join to it okay so you can watch it today i will give the link watch it today itself and based on your youtube link i will be providing some exercises to you many students join later so we will have a quick recap of the first answer so we are going to discuss about the poem try try again today and this poem is written by the great poet thomas farmer and in this poem he says this a lesson you should hear try try again this you should pay very careful attention of you to a lesson that is try try again whenever you fail to do something at the first attempt don't stop there try try again and not only to try try again you see he says that if you don't succeed try try again second i am saying but please stop putting a lot of smileys unnecessary stickers in the class in the chat i am saying you will lose your concentration on what i am telling right now okay more than 50 smile uh, stickers i can see there are you please concentrate on the class today instead of doing this so next when you keep on trying to do the thing again and again people may laugh at you next that and to persist that you need courage and guts and with this courage and guts you should persevere you must try doing again and again you should not stop in front of their laugh your real courage should appear and you try again and again persevere keep on doing it then what he says is at last you will conquer no doubt at all so keep on trying and try again and again try try again this is what he says now let's see what is the next stanza one so
Try again. Failures are there for celebrations. Make it a celebration. And try again. That is what the poet says. Once or twice though you should fail, it is common. Many people failed like us and they all tried and tried and tried and they, they became successful. Then why can't us? So try and try again, he says. If you would at last prevail, what is the meaning of prevail you see? Don't give up and continue the struggle. If you would at last prevail, if you keep on your struggling without giving up, Never ever give up. You may have a lot of problems, but if, if you are not giving up, struggling yourself, keep on fighting, keep on fighting to win yourself. So what will happen? At last, you will win definitely. So try, try again. Don't give up. Don't stop. Struggle yourself. Struggle to improve each time yourself. Every time you should try to improve your performance than the previous one. Pump it yourself and try to improve yourself each time. Struggle for that so that you will win. For that you have to try and try again and again. Now, if we strive is not disguise. What is striving? Striving means try very hard. If you are trying to do something very hard, it is not a disgrace, it is not a shame. Why people should laugh at a person who is trying to do something very hard? Who will laugh at others? Those who are not doing anything. Am I right? If they have the guts, they will do it. Those who are doing, they will not laugh at others. Those who are not having the guts, those who are not doing, not trying, they only will laugh at others. Those who know the effort of others, they will respect others, encourage others. They will never comment on others. They will never discourage others. Instead, they will come and encourage and help others. Right? So, this is what he says. It's not a shame. It's not a thing to laugh at if you are trying again and again to do something hard. The person who is trying to do something hard again and again is a hero. He should be respected. That's what he says. Though they do not encourage. Okay? You try very hard. You put all your effort. You fail. Doesn't matter. Because we have chances again in our life. You know, chance and tide comes again and again. If you go near a sea, you will see the waves come. The tide comes and hit the seashore. It goes back. It goes back. Again it comes. And again it goes back. It's an unending process. The tide comes to the shore, go back, again it comes, again it may go, again it may come. Sometimes you will see very big waves coming than the previous world. So chances are like this. It will keep on coming in your life for you to try and try again to be not to stop. Now, what should you, though they do not give the rise, if you do not give the rise, no problem. Chances are again there in life, try. What should you do in this case? Ah, that is a question. That is the problem also with many of us. What is that? Are I didn't give. See, I tried one time. Teacher told me to try again. I tried again. And my father and mother told me to try again. I tried again. Hmm, three times. I failed. Now I will not try. How will I win? One time, two time, three time. No, no, no try competition. I am not artist, I can't win. Take on the negative decision in us. So we cannot go further. Our skill will perish there. It will finish there. We will end there. Okay. So, if somebody is telling or not telling, if you have a skill, you should fight with that skill to improve it day by day. One time failure, two times failure, three times failure, four times failure. Let it be ten times. Keep on trying, at last you will win. Now, if you find your task is hard, if you are, if you are not winning, okay, what will you do in this case? In that case, you should say that I am a hero, I am not going to keep up. I am not, no, not going to not keep up, I am not going to leave it. I am trying to, to try again. 
Now, if your task is hard, sometimes your task is very hard. Just practice is very hard. Relay race is very hard. What will you do in this case? Task is very hard. I can't do. I am strong. No. How to? Try. Try again to win. If the task is hard, it is not for you to give up. There will be no easy task for us daily in our life. There may be hard task. So if it is hard, welcome the hard task. And try, try again to improve. Students, I hope you enjoyed today's session. And I will be giving you some assignments or tasks, formats in your WhatsApp group. Watch this poem in the YouTube link which I will provide in your class group. Okay? Bye. Today's session is over. So, I have seen a lot of wishes for me. Thank you students. So, students, see you in the next class. Till then, bye bye. Thank you for your wishes.